Do you think that people developed good and bad habits 300 years ago? Yeah, of course. Okay. Those people had no knowledge of neuroscience, right? They had no idea sure. of neuroplasticity. They had they had none of these concepts. So I think the just evidence-wise, I don't think it's required to know that if you do a behavior it like you know neuroplasticity things that fire together wire together you basically grease these grooves you create stronger connections i think that is a a supportive idea to help people maybe think about habits but i don't think it's a really important piece of it yeah it's not I, and I probably say... i mean in addition to that i think like the most powerful example of this is think about the the animals in your life that you've trained, right? You have stimulus, mm -hmm. behavior, reward. Got the humans reward, yeah. are the humans are the same. Yeah, right? absolutely. And so I think what really fundamentally matters is you just have to learn to tie a behavior to an outcome. And the yeah. faster you can do that and the more you can put feedback mechanisms in place, the faster you'll change your habits. And I think so, that's a really important thing for people to know is like, we are all mammals, right? We all have the same reward systems effectively. And so I think if people can just focus on tying feedback and outcomes to behaviors faster, the likelihood of them developing a habit is much higher. So taking a couple of examples, 